Hi everyone. Hope you all are good. We're going to start with grade nine maths. Grade eight maths. We're going to start with grade eight maths. You can find all the lessons on aplusstudents.com. You have to log in there using your email address and password is provided by the administrator. Then you have to select math from the subject tab. Scroll down to grade eight and then click on view all lessons. So there you can find the list of the chapters. We're going to start with the unit prices, find the total price, percent of a number, tax discount and more. Find the percent test discount and more. So let's just start with the first lesson. Here is the lesson, here is grade eight maths. The chapter is consumer math. Here we are unit prices, find the total price. Let's just start with the lesson. Okay, how much money does Ken need to buy eight baseball helmets? You are given with the price list. The price of the baseball helmet is 16.26. So you need to buy eight helmets. So you, have, you need to calculate the price of the eight helmets. So you need to 16.26 times eight, got it? So it would be, 130.08 the correct option is 130 that means if he need to buy eight helmets he must have 130.08 dollars got it let's just start with the test questions okay how much money does joe need to buy eight oil paintings so he need to buy eight oil paintings the price of the one oil painting is 789 got it that means he need to do 789 times 8. 789 times 8. So it would be 8 times 9 is 72, 2 here and 7 carry. 8 times 8 is 64 and 7. 71 here you have 1 and 7 carry. 8 times 7 is 56 and 4. 73 that means he must have seven thousand three hundred and twelve dollars to buy eight oil paintings got it 789 times eight okay let me just check eight times nine is 72 two seven carry eight times eight is 64 and seven 71 one and seven carry eight times seven is 56 Oh, 63 it is, sorry, not 73. It would be 6,312. So the correct option is option number two. Got it? Sharon went to the store. She bought two kilograms of rocks. How much did he spend? So the price of the rocks is 1.41 per kg. Got it? You need to calculate the price of two kilograms. So just two. 1.41 times 2. So it would be 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 1 is 2. So it would be $2.82 dollars. Got it? That means the price of the 2 kilogram stones are 2.82. How much money does Pam need to buy 6 beach postcards and 3 souvenirs? Cup. So you need to buy, she need to buy 6 beach postcards, 1 beach Postcard costs 0 0.25. So you have to do 6, point, 6 times 0 0.25 to calculate the price of 6 postcard. Then you have to calculate the price of 3 souvenirs cup and then you have to add them. Got it? Let's just do uh, 0 0.25 times 6 to calculate the cost of 6 postcards. It would be 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12, 13, 14, 15. It would be 1.50. That is the price of 6 postcards. Now you need to calculate the price of 3 souvenirs. It's souvenir cup, they are 0 0.74. So you need to do 0 0.74 times 3. So it would be 3 times 4 is 12. 2, 1 carry. 3 times 7 is 21 and 122. They are 2.22. Now you have to just add the price of six postcards and the price of three souvenir cups. 
it would be 1.50 and plus 2.22 so 0 plus 2 is 2 5 plus 2 is 7 and 3 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so that price of the six postcards and three souvenir cups is 3.72 dollars the correct option is 3.72 the second option is the correct one Okay, how much money does Justin need to buy six DVDs and eight alarm clocks? So DVDs are 6.23 and alarm clocks 16.23 and alarm clocks are 16.27. So you need to calculate the price of six DVDs and eight alarm clock. Okay, one clock price 16.27. That is the price of alarm clock and DVD is 16.23 okay so you need to buy six DVDs and eight alarm clocks so you need to do six and eight and then you have to add them eight times seven is 56 six five carry eight times two is 16 21, 1, 2 carry, 8 times 6 is 48, 49, 50, 0, 5 carry, 8 times 1 is 8 and 5, 13, it would be 130.16, got it? The correct option is 130.16. Now you need to calculate the price of 6 DVD, so 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 2 is 12 and 1, 13, 6 times 6 is 36 and 1, 37, 6 times 1 is 6, it would be 97.38, just add up both the prices 8 and 6 14 4 1 carry 3 1 4 and 1 5 7 plus 0 is 7 9 10 11 12 2 1 carry and 1 and 1 is 2 so it would be 227.54 the correct option is you can calculate these values from the calculator got it How much money does Vera need to buy two rolling pins? So you need to calculate the price of the two low rolling pins. Got it? The price of one rolling pin is $15. Got it? You need to calculate price of two rolling pins. Got it? So 15 times two makes. It would be 15 times two. So 15 times two is. $30. So the price of two rolling pins is $30. Maria want to buy three pound of pink lady apple and four pound of cameo apples. How much will she spend? Three pounds of pink lady apple. So you need to do 1.21 times three. You need to do 1.21 times 3. So it would be 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times 1 is 3. That would be 3.63. And 4 pounds of cameo apples. So cameo apples are 0 0.89. Just do 0 0.89 times 4. It would be 4 times 9 is 36. Here you have 6. Here you have 3. 4 times 8 is 32. 33, 34, 35. It would be 3.56. Just add up both the values. 9, 3 and 3, 6 and 1, 7. So it would be 7.19. The correct option is 7.19. The total price of the both the things is 7.19. Mark bought 4 pounds of peanuts. How much did he spend? So which is the correct option? It would be four times five got it and four times five makes 20 so the correct option is 20 okay what is the total price cost of two pounds of canary melon so canary melon is 1.37 just multiply by to 1.37 times two
2 times 3 is 6 and 1, 7, and it would be $2.74. The correct option is canary melon is 0 0.89. Sorry. You have to do 0 0.89 times. So 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 8 is 16 and 117. It would be 1.78. The correct option is $1.78. How much Gita must, how much money does Gita need to buy eight hovercraft? So you do need to, you have to calculate the price of the hovercraft by eight. So it would be 7,086 times eight. Eight times six is 48. Eight times eight is 64 and 468. 8 times 7 is 56. It would be 56,688. The price of 8. It would be 56,688. Joel went to the store. He bought 3 pounds of apple muffin mix and 1 pound of pumpkin muffin mix. How much did he spend? So you need to calculate the price of three pounds of apple muffin mix. So apple muffin mix is $2.88. Just do 2.88 times three. It would be three times eight is 24. Three times eight is 24 and 226. Three times two is six and two. Eight, so it would be 8.64. That would be the price of three pounds of FL muffin. Add one pound of pumpkin. Pumpkin is 1.54. So just add 0.64 and 1.54. Four and four, eight, six and five, eleven, eight and one, nine and ten. It would be 10.18. So the correct option is 10.18. Okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. Let's just move on to next lesson. The next one is percent of a number tax discount and more. Kevin ate breakfast at a restaurant. The bill came at 67.80. If he left a 20% tip, how much was the tip? You have to calculate 20% of 67.80. Got it? 20% means it would be 0 0.2. So just multiply 0 0.2 times 67.80. That means out 67.80 and the 20% of 67.80 is 13.560. Got it? That means the tip is 13.56. Let's just start with the test questions. Okay, Jenny want to buy a ticket to an amusement park. The original price is 55.56. What is the sale price? So 75% off. Got it? Just calculate 75% of 55.56. You have to calculate 75% of 55.56. That means you need to do 75 over 100 times 55.156. Let me just calculate the value. So it would be 41.67. That is the money you had off on this price. So just subtract original value out of the sale value. That means she need to pay. That means she need to pay 13.89. Got it? This is the price he is, she is off and this is the price she need to pay. That would be 13.89.
got it. So the price you need to pay is 13.89. Option number one is the correct option. Okay, Mike. Okay, Mike ate breakfast at a restaurant. The bill came 60.70. If he left tip 20% tip, what was the total amount cost of the breakfast? Like he have you have to calculate 20% of 60.70 and then you have to add that 20% to 60.70. Got it? That would be the total amount he paid. So just calculate 20% of 60.70. You need to do 20 over 100 times 60.70. It would be 12.14. That means the tip is 12.14 is the tip he have to pay on 60.70. Now the total amount he have to pay is that is his bill and add the tip. Got it. It would be 72.84. The correct option is 72.84. The option number one is the correct option. What is the sale price of a hockey stick originally priced at 60.20? So just calculate 40% of 60.20. Got it? It would be 0 0.4 times 60.20. It would be 24.08. That means the amount he is off on 60.20 is 24.08. So the amount he have to pay is 60.20 subtract 24.08. The amount he need to pay is 36.12 got it that means he need to pay 36.12 Sharon bought a rocking chair online it cost 56.95 plus 20 percent shipping and handling what was the total cost so you have to calculate the shipping and handling 20% of the original cost and then you have to add the shipping in the cost. Got it? So just calculate 20% of 56.95. 20% of 56.95. It would be 0 0.2 times 56.95. It would be 11.39 that means the shipping this is the shipping you need to calculate the total cost this is the cost plus shipping the total amount he have to pay is the cost and shipping so the cost is 56.95 and plus 11.39 got it it would be 68.34 so it would be 68.34 got it okay the next one is blanca by a kenny during the sale if the original price was 56.36 how much does blanca pay so 50 percent off got it that means you just have to pay half so 50% means exactly half value. So half value would be 53.36 divided by 2. It would be 26.68. Got it? You simply need to divide the original cost by 2. 50% means half of the original price. So you just have to divide by 2. It would be 26.68. The correct option is 26.68.
Okay. Maria's bill for breakfast at a restaurant was $40. She left at 20% tip. What was the amount of the tip? That would be 20% of 40. Got it. It means it is $7. The correct option is $7. Oh, it would be 8. You have to calculate 20% of 40. So the amount would be 8. Okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. Let's just move on to next lesson. And the next lesson is find percent tax discount and more. Let's just start with the first lesson. A store is having a reduction. A store is having an inventory reduction sale. So an employee marks down some final sheets for $25 to $22. What is the discount? percentage you have to calculate the percentage of the discount the original value is 25 and it marked to 22 whenever you have to calculate the percent of discount you have to use the formula that is original price minus the discounted price and divided by the original price got it so the original price is 25 it will be 25 minus 22 and the original price is 25 so 25 minus 22 is 3 over 25 and you have to calculate it to be 0 0.12. You have to calculate the answer in percentage. So just multiply it with 100. It would be that means the discount is 12%. Got it. Let's just start with the practice questions. A store manager instructs some new trainees that a hockey stick price $77 will end up costing a customer $82.39 once the sales tax is included. What is the sales tax percentage? You need to calculate the sales tax in percentage. Got it? So you have to do $77 is the sales tax. Got it? No, no, $77 is the original price. And after adding the tax, it would be 82.39. Got it? So just subtract and calculate the tax value. It would be 82.39 minus 77. Eighty two point thirty nine minus seventy seven. That means the tax you have to pay is five point thirty nine. You have to calculate how much percentage it is. So divide the tax by the this value. It would be five point thirty nine divided by eighty two point thirty nine and multiply it with the hundred. Got it. So you have to do five point thirty nine divided by eighty two point thirty nine. It would be Seven percent. The correct option is just divide and multiply. It would be seven percent. You have to divide it by the price of before. You have to divide it by thirty seventy seven. Sorry. You have to divide it by not by eighty two. You have to divide it by seventy seven. The price that is before tax. Got it before tax. It would be. 77 let me just divide and see the value it would be 5.39 divided by 77 that would be exact seven percent the correct option is seven percent that means you have to pay seven percent tax got it okay the next one is lian rings up an item that cost $333. After sales tax, the total value is $363. What is the sales tax percentage? So you need to follow the same method. That is the price after the sale tax. It would be $363 minus $330 and divided by the price before sales tax. You have to do $363 minus $330 and divided by the value before tax and multiply it with the 100. That's how you calculate the percentage. So it would be 3 and 33 over 330. Mm. It would be 
1 over 10 times 100 and it would be 10. That means it is 10% of the original value. Got it? That means the tax you have to pay is 10% of the original value. Got it? Okay, Gavin bought a briefcase up for $69 that was originally priced $75. What is the discount after percentage? We have to calculate discount percentage. Originally, it was 75. It would be 69 minus 75 divided by 6, 75 times 100 because originally it was 75. You have to divide it by the original price. 69 minus 75, it would be 6 divided by 75. It would be 8%. The correct option is 8%. Got it? You have a negative value because that would be our discount. So it would be 8%. The correct option is 8. Megan, an accountant, observes that her company purchased guitars at a cost of $42 and currently selling them at $63. What percentage is the markup? You need to calculate the profit they are gaining. Got it? The original price is 42 So they are selling at 63 Got it? That means they are selling it on the profit. So just calculate the profit percentage. That is the price they are selling. The original price is 42. Yes, 42 and divided by the original price. And then you have to multiply it by the 100. Got it? Sixty-three minus forty-two is twenty-one. Twenty-one over forty-two, it would be fifty percent. That means they are the profit would be fifty percent. The correct option is fifty. A shopper at a clearance sale is pleased to discover some dishwashers on sale for. 234 each. The original price tag is 600. What is the discount percentage? You have to calculate the percentage of the discount. Now they are 234. Originally it was 600. Got it? So you have to do 234 minus 600 divided by the original price and multiply by the 100. Original price was 600. Sorry. 234 is the discounted price. So just calculation, do the calculations, 234 minus 600 is 366. 366 divided by 600 is 61%. That means they are selling it on dishwasher only 61% off. Got it? The correct option is 61%. Colton, a sign maker of a store, makes a sign advertising swing sets for sale for set at a price of $884 each. However, the swing sets only cost the store $680 each. What is the markup? Basically, the original price is $680 and they are selling it at $884. So you have to calculate the percentage they are. It would be $884 minus $680. And the original price is actually 680. You have to divide it by the 680. So let's just calculate the value. It would be 884 minus 680 and divided by the 680. It would be 30%. The correct option is 30. That means they are selling it on 30% profit. The correct option is 30%. Got it? Okay, the next one is leather chairs originally priced 500 and now on selling 385. What is the discount percentage? You have to calculate discount percentage. So you have to do originally they are for 500 
and it would be now 385 so you have to do 385 minus 600 500 divided by the 500 multiply by 100 385 minus 500 it would be 115 divided by 500 so the correct option is 23 percent So the discount is 23%. The correct option is 23%. Roger is shopping online and finds a great deal on toaster. Roger pays $8 for a toaster originally sold for $32. What is the discount? So you have to do 8 minus 32 divided by the 32 because the original cost is 32 8 minus 32 24 divided by 32 that means that this toaster is on 75 percent off the correct option is 75 percent website is selling microscopes for 30 Three dollars. The site got the microscopes at eleven dollars. What is the markup percentage? The original price of these microscopes are eleven, and they are selling at thirty-three. Got it? That means they are selling on the profit. You have to calculate the profit. So you have to do thirty-three minus eleven divided by eleven because the original cost is eleven. Got it? So you have to do thirty-three minus eleven divided by 11 it would be 22 over 11 that means they are selling it on the 200 percent profit got it they are selling it at 200 percent profit if the buyer of a chain of stores purchase store storage bins in bulk paying 25 each the store will sell each storage bin for 32 dollars what percentage is the markup so the original price is 25 got it so you need to do 32 minus 25 divided by the 25 because the original price is 25 and multiply by the 100 so the correct option is 18 percent got it the correct option is 28 percent sorry not 18. It would be Okay, the next one is a mother explains to her child that the price on the sign is not the total price of a model solar system because the price does not include tax. She points out that 98 model, $98 model solar system actually cost 101.92 
once the tax is added, what is the sales tax percentage? So you have to calculate the, like after the tax, it would be 101.92. Before tax, it would be 98. Got it? So just subtract the value after the tax. Just subtract the value before tax from the value after tax. You will get the tax they are paying. Got it? And then you have to calculate percentage 101 point and divide it by the original cost. Original cost is 92. 101.92 minus 98. It is 3.92 and 3.92 divided by 98. It is 4%, just 4%. That means the tax they are adding is just 4%. Got it? Okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. So we were working on grade 8 maths. The lesson we were working on is consumer math. The chapter we have covered today are unit prices, find the total price, percent of a number, tax discount and more. Find the percent tax discount and more. Please make sure before the next session you have to complete all the test questions for the lessons we did today. So if you need more help with any of the lesson, you can contact any tutor on the Skype. They are available from Monday to Friday, 5 to 9. So question, please ask. I'm here to answer all your questions and confusions. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next session. Bye everyone.